my very first Apple Watch and none other than the Hermes version. I brought it home yesterday and of course I have already unboxed it and started wearing it. I even wore it to sleep. Also in the past few weeks, I have been wearing my husband's Apple Watch, which was the Series 4 44 millimeter. And I have to say that I ended up loving interacting with the watch that I knew I wanted to get my own watch as well. So I decided that for Series 7, it is definitely time for me to add my own watch. So I'm gonna reveal the version that I've chosen I'm gonna tell you guys why I chose it. Maybe a quick comparison to my husband's Series 4. Of course, this is not a true unboxing. I will put a clip right beside me of when I unboxed it. I actually unboxed it in my car. I just could not wait to put it together and just put it on my wrist. So I literally got out of the store, went to my car and started unboxing it. When you purchase it from Hermes, of course you get your shopping bag, your receipts. One thing that you may not know if you've never bought the Hermes version at the Hermes store is that they actually assemble it when you buy it. Series 7 has been delayed by Apple and it was common knowledge that they would have very limited quantity. Therefore, even if you were to buy the regular Apple Watch on the Apple website, if you try to order one today, you would only get it by end of December, which is kind of crazy. Pre-order date was October 8, which is exactly when I decided to pre-order mine. Actually, I had to go to the store and prepay for mine, prepay in full so that I got their very first shipment. Okay, so it comes packaged like this, like I said, but they assemble it when you buy the watch. Hermes already had all of the watch straps ahead of time, obviously because they make it themselves. They just didn't have the actual gizmos, so that's what they were waiting for. They had to undo the plastic wrap, the plastic film from the gizmos, and then the box that was underneath it, which would be the strap, was actually just a... Um, dummy box it wasn't um, there was actually no straps in there so they already had all of these straps so yes it does come in two boxes that slides out of this carton very very cool carton from Hermes so you have all your serial number of your watch and everything yes you buy Apple care with Apple on your own you don't buy it at Hermes like I said I already assembled my watch and have already been wearing it. So this is the Double Tour Attelage 41 millimeter in gold Swift. I will just tell you right now that I absolutely feel that this was the best decision I've ever made about the Apple Watch. At first, I was even thinking that I would just get the regular Apple Watch. My current cellular carrier they don't offer the LTE services for the Apple Watch so that was one of the reasons why I thought that maybe I didn't need the Hermes version because I couldn't even use fully the capability that this watch comes with but I will say after trying it on because I did put my full deposit when I went to try on the straps with their dummies the dummy watches that it is a hundred percent worth the extra buying the actual Hermes version. So I will go through all of those reasons with you. On the straps, you have your own uh, serial code. You can also tell just from the stitching, even right here, you see three stitches that are parallel to each other. You are definitely paying for the attention of detail. You see the Hermes etching on the hardware. The serial number of your watch is also etched on the inside of your stainless steel part right here where your strap goes. Speaking just about the straps themselves, which are made by Hermes in collaboration with Apple so that they work together, they are absolutely worth the extra money. Those of you who are subscribed to my channel probably watch me for luxury because that's what I do. I do luxury content and to be very objective about uh, the review of the watch straps, they are 100% worth the $700 price tag for this version right here because not only is the attention to detail just absolutely amazing, you definitely feel the quality of Hermes just in a strap. For me, I just went all the way because not only do you get the whole unboxing experience, of course, but you also get their uh, exclusive watch faces. There are three watch faces. Anytime I want to change up the look on my wrist, it's as easy as just swiping to the actual watch face that I like. And when I want a bit more information, I just go to this one because this one you can put four complications on each of the corners that you access frequently. Actually, there's five complications, including the date. Here is the Cape Cod on my wrist. 
I love the font. I even kept it orange. This was the default one that uh, it came out when I first set it up. I just love that it's just so simple and clean with the Cape Cod fonts in orange. I think it goes well with the gold strap. And then you just get the date here. I like the blue contrast with the brown. I just love blue and brown together. I like that it's super clean and it just says five, meaning that it's five uh, 50 something right now. <laughs> and then finally, I love this one. This one just has more data, my several complications here. And of course you can click on it. So right here, uh, you click on it and it tells you all the uh, temperature, precipitation, everything in your area. So I live in Vancouver, that's why it says that. And then I also have my calculator. I'm just always doing some sort of calculations in my head because I'm very data driven. This tip function is so cool. Let's say you have $200 bill and then you want to tip 15% between, I don't know, 14 people, then each person only pays $16.43, which is so, so cool if you ask me. And then of course I have the heart rate, and then I just think that the blood oxygen thing is just super, super duper cool. Like I just love data like this. And of course you still have your date here and all of these are customizable. I also love that the Series 7 is always on display. When you're looking at your watch, of course it's the full brightness, but when you're not looking at your watch, you can still see what time it is, which looks more like a real watch. It is just an amazing update if you ask me. And like I said, I absolutely love how this strap looks and feels on my wrist. I honestly wouldn't really use the Apple face because they just don't, they just don't give me the same feeling. It's not fashion enough. I will also talk about wrist size and everything. So right here I have my CDC 24 bracelet and I buy the T1 version. So as you can see the T1 version, actually before I remove it, the T1 version fits me very well. It can move around the top part of my wrist quite well. Uh, and I wear it right smack in the middle anyway. So I have very small wrists. By the way, if you're wondering how fussy it is to put the strap on, it's just a matter of getting used to. And my trick is actually to just, you know, hold the long strap and then just loop it around like that. And then you're good. I do use the first or second hole. Since this watch is still new and um, the strap itself is still kind of stiff, I will use the second hole. And as time goes by, as the leather relaxes and as it molds even more to the shape of my wrist, I will be able to use the first hole um, because leather does stretch over time as well. And yes, this leather is quite stiff at the beginning, especially this first loop here. It's very, very stiff. So I like to put my watch a little bit below uh, the top part of my wrist, just like right there. And I think it looks really, really nice. And it's very, it's very, very cool. You do get a bit of space here, which, you know, you would think that it's not going to be tight on your wrist, especially this part here. This I hope that you can see what I mean. There is definitely space for this part of the strap. It doesn't actually cling onto your skin or anything. And somehow with the way they designed it, the part where the watch is still sits very flush onto your wrist. It doesn't feel like it's coming off or anything. So it's an ingenious design. Basically, it does not matter how loose this part of your watch gets this part of your watch on your wrist always stays put no matter how loose this part is which is wonderful and i just i don't know i just think that the look is so cool you guys already know i'm a big fan of my cdc bracelet this is just another sort of like accessory uh that will be permanently attached to my left arm from now on and this is just this is just a stunning stunning bracelet um, watch at the same time. I love that it is a thinner bracelet because obviously with smaller wrists, I just think that the thinner um, straps look the best. Yes, when it's new, it will be quite tight. This loop right here is very, very tight. I'm gonna try to demonstrate. It already has loosened up because I've been trying to loosen it up, 
but it is still quite tight. Like I said, this part of the watch right here, this portion right here, is where it wraps around the top of your of your wrist as the second loop. Notice how they made this part thicker and bumpier than the rest of the watch because this part of the watch is flat. This part of the watch is flat. So the flat part sits flush onto your wrist. So it's absolutely a stunning piece of um, leather good if you ask me. And the design itself, the double tour itself is worth the price uh, on its own. If you're not used to it, it can feel like it's a lot harder, but all you do is just leave it on your wrist, um, hold on to this long strap, and then double tour your wrist, and now you can attach it. It's pretty easy. I remember reading the article about how they designed the double loop, so the designer had trouble finding uh, a way to not uh, make the second part, so the double part, go on top of the watch or something like that. I can't remember exactly the detail, but I remember reading this article and she finally found the answer by just making this part of the strap, the underneath of this part, um, a bit more thicker. And that solved the problem and it lays on your wrist properly as a result. It definitely still looks like a digital watch and it's very recognizable. Like you know, most people would recognize that it's an Apple watch, but it definitely looks more fancy and more dressy, which is exactly what I'm going for. I would say that in general, for me, the most important part of having a digital watch is that I get all my notifications on my wrist. So I no longer even have to actually go to my phone and do stuff there. I just see it on my watch and most of the time I just need to know what the notification is about. Most of the time I don't need to react and to uh, reply to it right away. And if it's a very short reply such as a message, then I can do it straight from the watch because as some of you may know, one of the main update is not only the watch face is larger, but also they've implemented a full keyboard on Series 7 which is amazing and it works marvelously. I'm already someone who swipes when I type on my phone. I've been a swiper for several years since the Nexus 6 actually and I've had the Nexus 6 since uh, I want to say 2016. So I've been a swiper. I've been type instead of typing I have been already swiping to reply to write emails on my phone already so it was just easy peasy for me to do it on my watch and you honestly don't need to aim it's just the motion the smart prediction of what you do over time you'll get it more and more right honestly it's like one of my favorite parts about the series 7 that is for sure that is different from series 6 or earlier apart from notifications my favorite part of this watch is that it interacts with me so it would remind me to stand up it would remind me to move around more to complete my rings not that i follow it a hundred percent those of you who know me probably know that i don't do a lot of exercise i mean i try when i feel like it or if i can but most of the time i am pretty sedentary having a reminder to tell me to even to stand up because i do work in front of a computer all day long just having a reminder to stand up every hour for at least a minute is actually really really cool and i i love the challenge not only that i'm just quirky about you know things like heart rate blood oxygen uh, ECG, those those are all the cool things that, you know, normally you wouldn't have access to or you wouldn't really think about. So for me to have these health data, even though it's not medically uh, usable in a sense, to see if there's any differences on times that I really don't feel well. I love the uh, SOS function right here. Fall detection, SOS, emergencies, those are just like pretty cool things that uh, I hope I don't ever need but it's just one of those things that I like having on a watch because might as well use it right uh, by the way guys I'm not doing a technical review if you're here to see a technical review of my watch it is not that but I am coming from a point of view of everyday use user friendliness but I will refer you to a video which I will link down below of a video where you can set up all of these things that I mentioned that I found very, very helpful and that I would pretty much set all the way the same way as that person. I will link it down below. It's an excellent review. All in all, I feel like if you are a luxury lover 
And if you already like the idea of wearing a digital watch, then it makes total sense to just get this version. Just get the ultimate Hermes version, whether you go with this strap or the single loop or the larger faces, it does not matter. I do feel that you get your money's worth in terms of the luxury and the functionality. Of course, with the most recent Series 7, you get the larger screen and everything. And as you can see, my husband's 44 millimeter. Of course, it's still bigger than this, but when I put this on my wrist and I started using it, I did not even feel like I was missing the size of the 44 millimeter Series 4. I just felt like it was still a very good size. I didn't feel like this was too small at all. Like I said, you can still purchase these straps uh, separately, if, especially if you already have a watch that works and you don't need to upgrade the actual watch and you want to wait a few more years, you can still purchase just the straps alone. I have tried the black version with their dummies and I will say that although it's very, very sleek, it was just not popping as much as this version. The rouge ash and the blue color only comes with the silver buckle and uh, comes with the silver watch. If you decide to get the space black version, then the strap itself is also black and the hardware is also black, which is very, very sleek, but just didn't pop as much on my wrist. And I did also try the single strap just to confirm whether it really did not fit me because like I said, my wrist size is closer to 13 centimeters and the other, uh, oh, it just told me that it's six o'clock, starts off at 14 centimeters for wrist size. So when I tried it, I confirmed that it was too loose it was just moving around my wrist and I will insert a photo again. So just FYI, if you have baby wrists as well, if your wrist is uh, less than 14 centimeters, then I would highly recommend you go with the double loop attelage with the thinner version because this is just very, very flattering on petite wrists. Another thing that nobody really talks about is that washing of your hands. I never even get my watch or the strap wet because like I said, I like to wear it a little lower than my actual uh, upper wrist. So anytime I wash my hands, I just go around here and then I just, you know, rinse around my wrist. It hardly ever even touches the leather part or the watch part, which is something that I couldn't do when I was wearing the 44 millimeter, obviously because it was not made for my size and it wasn't staying on my wrist as tightly as this one because that one, the, even the strap, I had to even fold the magnetic <laughs> metal strap to be able to wear on my wrist because it was so big. And like I said, this strap is excellent. It just stays put. Like once you have it on, it does not matter how loose this part is. Like I said, this part of the watch stays put. Oh, I forgot to talk about sleeping. So yes, I did wear this watch overnight. Um, it felt very comfortable. Actually, I wore it with the leather strap. Leather is breathable, therefore it's definitely more comfortable and I definitely love the feel of this much, much, much more. Uh, it's just so, so comfortable. So I actually wore this just like that as I went to bed last night, the whole night, I woke up so many times actually, I didn't sleep so well, but that's not because of the watch, it's just because I am not a good sleeper. So instead of reaching for my phone, which I normally do when I'm sort of like groggy and trying to figure out what time it is, I just look at my watch, which is so perfect because it's just right there. And then I'm like, oh, okay, let's go back to bed. So I feel like I will be wearing my watch often to bed. Um, just for the convenience of it. I don't know if I'll do it every single day, but maybe the sleep tracking data will also be helpful for me over the long term. I don't know yet, so I will definitely report back if that's something that you're interested. The other thing that I also really, really loved about the updated version, the Series 7, is that the fast charging is so good. Battery was on 57% uh, full, and I put it down to charge, and then I think 20 minutes later or 18 minutes later, it was already fully charged. That is using the cable that it came with uh, this watch because only the cable that comes with the Series 7 watch can charge at a speed of 25 watts. So there you have it. I hope that this um, overview was helpful for you. Like I said, this is not a technical review. I kind of know quite a bit about the Apple Watch already just based on me having worn the Series 4 for a while and just me watching a lot of review videos for myself. So if I didn't cover anything that you're still wondering, uh, then definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions. And if I get a lot of these questions, I will do a follow-up video of this watch answering all of the 
more <laughs> detailed questions that you may have. But from a standpoint of styling and from a standpoint of sizing and from a standpoint of whether the Hermes version or the Hermes band is worth it, then I can already tell you in this video that it is absolutely yes. In case you're new to my channel or maybe you just bumped into my review, I would love to have you back. I hope you do decide to subscribe. Like I said, I do mostly fashion and luxury videos, but from time to time I do have my tech videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you've enjoyed this video and also you can further support me by becoming my channel member where you get exclusive content just for members. Have a great week ahead of you and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.